Hello, I'm FDX Slicam. Welcome back to the video. Today I have some pretty interesting news to share with you all, and although it's not directly related to Minecraft, it is to do with Notch, who is of course the creator of Minecraft, the founder of Mojang, and of course who sold Minecraft to Microsoft for $2 billion just a few years ago. So he's been living the billionaire lifestyle ever since then, for the most part, but every now and then he gets the itch, the craving to work on something, you know, programming or game related, and it seems like that itch has been scratched again today, because he uploaded his first ever gameplay, extended gameplay of his brand new project, and I wanted to share with you all in the background, because you'll see how it's got a lot of Minecraft style influences, or at least influences from the same place as Minecraft, and I think it's something you just had to see, and uh, I wanted to tell you about, because there's a lot of weirdities that he has explained over Twitter in the last few days. So please do like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel, and let's know you do like these sorts of videos, I want to keep seeing more news videos, even about the weird wacky topics like this one, but let's get straight into talking about what you're seeing in the background, because like I said, this is the first gameplay we've ever seen of Notch's brand new little project, and I think the easiest way to summarize this thing is like, you know, Minecraft, but with spheres, right? Because it has the same kind of basic style of just being an engine right now, no real gameplay, because that's what Notch seems to prefer working the most. And although we'll get into the details of how this is like Minecraft later, let's start by talking about the very first thing he said about it, because he tweeted out a bunch of screenshots, and then people asked him, so he said, I don't know if this is going to turn into a game, and it's definitely not a sequel to anything, so to preempt all the people that are like, this is Minecraft 2, it's not Minecraft 2, <laughs> you know, like, although he's got a little winking face after it, so who knows what that means. But yeah, basically, uh, you know, he, he wanted to preempt all the Minecraft 2 stuff by saying this isn't a sequel to anything, it might not necessarily even turn into a game, but he is having way too much fun, seeing how far he can push the tomfoolery. He had it push a 32 kilometer view distance for a while, which if you don't know in Minecraft times would be like 32,000 blocks or I think that'd be 2,000 chunks, right? So essentially, you know, this is, uh, you know, an engine he's been working on that is insanely, you know, well optimized to have a 32 km uh, render distance. So then in response to that tweet, someone asked him, what's the project going to be about? What's it called? And how long have you actually been working on it? And he just said, no idea, no idea, since Christmas or so. So he has no idea what it's going to be about. You know, he just likes working on the engine. Uh, he has no idea what it's called, but he's been working on it since Christmas or so. And again, this was on the, the early days of January, what he later tweeted out was this, saying, I have no idea, it's kind of, you know, and someone, someone responded, of course, saying, what are you making, though? I have no idea, it's currently a voxel engine that runs in a web browser at 99 FPS with a 60 plus KM render distance with real-time uh, terrain generation. Oh, and the voxels are modifiable in runtime, so they'll eat up all the RAM pretty fast, uh, just added real-time reflections. And we actually saw, by the way, uh, some images of, like, just how advanced some the physics are in this, and this is, like, a five-second gameplay clip. This was the first gameplay we saw, but it was literally just, you know, him showing off the engine. So yeah, you can see how there's real-time reflections and 60km render distance as he tweets that. So that, again, the equivalent of like 4,000, you know, Minecraft chunks or 60,000 Minecraft blocks. And what makes that even crazier is the fact that then someone uh, responds by saying what size is each voxel? Because if you don't know, voxels, uh, they're what people call pixels in Minecraft. The big blocks, you know, because they're cubes, you know, they're like pixel-sized things, but they're made of many pixels. They're called voxels because they're the unit of the game. And each voxel in this game that Notch has been created is uh, is actually uh, 1 16th of a meter or 1 16th the size that they are in Minecraft, which which essentially means you can have much more detail, and it's very, uh, you know, reminiscent of stuff like, uh, I guess, a real game to some extent, but because it's made of voxels, it has that same kind of charm where things just look a little bit different. And in case you're curious about the colors, he also mentioned how that's because of aesthetic reasons. And yeah, let's talk, just, let's, let's, let's show some gameplay now that you know everything about this. This is a voxel game. It's a voxel game with a 60 kilometer render distance. It's a voxel game with real time reflections that can run in a web browser, and it might just become a game. So yeah, essentially, what are you seeing? What is going on with, uh, you know, Notch? Because I feel like I've explained everything, but not really explained the, the depth of what's going on. Is this Minecraft 2? No, it's clearly not meant to be a Minecraft 2, but it is meant to be something that occupies Notch. So Notch, as soon as he was done with Minecraft, as soon as the game officially released, back in 1.0, as you've seen in my recent upload videos, um, you know, as soon as that released, Notch kind of stopped working on it quite so much. After the 1.4 update in particular, he wasn't doing anything to do with the team, he was just kind of there in, you know, principle and working on a separate game. It was called 0 times 10 c but it got too far and he stopped being able to work on it, so he was kind of done after that, he sold Minecraft, and he's been doing pretty much nothing ever since, enjoying the billionaire lifestyle. However, like I said, uh, you know, apparently that gets boring eventually. So what he's decided to do is he started working on, uh, you know, little, little side projects from time to time. And although most of them go nowhere, this is his most recent one. And it seems to be the one he's been working on for the longest time. It's been weeks of nonstop screenshots on Twitter. And that makes me think that although this might not go anywhere, there's a very high chance this won't become the new Minecraft. It seems like Notch has that itch to make something big, to make something great again. And although maybe he only gets past the engine stage and he makes a cool engine, so far, you can see how this has so much potential, and because of the performance implications, again, this, again, it runs in a web browser with 60km render distance, that's insane, the optimization compared to even, you know, Minecraft on the, you know, Bedrock Edition, which is really well optimized compared to most games. Uh, the optimization in this game is insane, and although, again, that doesn't make a game necessarily, it does create something which is very, very interesting to see, very interesting to watch, and again, we might just see, Mine uh, you know, the, the, the next successor to, although I wouldn't say directly competing with Minecraft, the, you know, competitor to stuff like any other open world game, 
game, uh, No Man's Sky, for instance, got really big for this idea, despite being not fleshed out. Maybe that's his whole idea. Maybe he doesn't care about success, and he just really loves the, the project and showing off to the world. But the fact that he started a new YouTube channel, the fact that he uploaded seven minutes of gameplay, admittedly for funny render bug where things get really bizarre, um, you know, I, I, I think that that has something to say about his seriousness with it. And that means that we might just see a brand new Minecraft from the original Minecraft developer at some point in the future. Again, I doubt it will have any real similarities to the game. I imagine there are contracts, which means he doesn't, you know, isn't allowed to make a game that's too similar. Uh, but I will say that it is pretty interesting to watch, and it's something I would keep your eye on if you love to see this sort of thing uh, be developed. Because again, uh, Notch made Minecraft from nothing, and then, you know, that made an entire genre. Maybe it'll happen again, or maybe, you know, not. But it's something worth following regardless. Uh, one more thing before we go, though, because I thought this was pretty stunning. Uh, the world which the game is based on, because it is based on a spherical world, uh, apparently has the same axial to as Earth. So he's been working on the really far in physics of, like, how will this interact with space and the sun and stuff? Which I think is just a, a cool little, uh, you know, like, detail that isn't included in most games, because why would you? But again, it just shows that Notch is kind of like a mad programming genius slash uh, crazy person that is making a brand new game, and I wanted to tell that uh, to you in today's video. So hopefully you'd all enjoy it. Again, liking the video is a cool thing, because helps out the channel, supports it. But if you don't want to do that, uh, uh, or you don't want to share either, which is the best way to get it to new people, uh, then you can subscribe and notifications turned on, so you can guarantee you won't miss videos like this one in the future. I'm now back from Singapore, so I'll be uploading a few more videos over the next few days about a couple of bits of news from the past week, because we recently got uh, the number of players that Minecraft actually has, and it's stunning, because everyone thinks Minecraft's dead, but apparently, according to those numbers, it's really so much the opposite. But yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy the video, and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.